One man faces several charges tonight after an hours long standoff in Aloha. Deputies say before that standoff, he stole a car, smashed it into some cop cars, and eventually wrecked into a house. Tonight, we've also learned the name of the suspect in this case. Deputies say Isaiah Moore was taken to a hospital to get treated for being exposed to pepper spray. He is now in the Washington County Jail facing nine charges. Fox 12's John Hendricks was the first reporter on scene and now walks us through what happened. Washington County deputies tell us this all started as a stolen car report out of Forest Grove this morning. That car ended up smashing into a home and garage here off of 170th and Sugar Plum in Aloha. The driver taking off on foot to a neighboring home and forensics teams were out here for several hours into the evening. That's where they found the driver who was arrested after a standoff with deputies. Guns drawn and shields out this Aloha neighborhood blocked off by police lights and crime scene tape. I've never really experienced something like this before. For several hours, negotiators worked to try and convince a man to come out of this home. So I made my way around the corner and I saw there's a ton of cops. Washington County deputies say this car that now sits crashed into this home was stolen in Forest Grove this morning. Deputies spotted it in Aloha a little while later. The driver taking off and smashing into two patrol cars trying to get away. According to investigators, the man then turned too sharply and launched into this home off of 170th. It was pretty surprising. I'm surprised I didn't hear it from my house. I. Yeah, it was, I guess, I'm sure it was pretty loud. That's when he took off to a neighbor's house where a woman was inside. She ran for safety. Deputies say they could see that man through a window making a sandwich in the kitchen. Hours later, they would go inside and find that man hiding behind the furnace. They used mace and brought him out in cuffs. For the woman whose car was stolen and the homeowner here, they are just super thankful that no one was seriously hurt. And that was John Hendricks reporting. The sheriff's office says one deputy involved in the earlier crash did go to the hospital to get checked out for minor injuries. That deputy is now home recovering. As for the woman who lives in the home, she says her 10-month Siamese cat is missing. If anyone in the area sees it, make sure you let her know.